Ever been told that you look like someone? Maybe you've been told you look like a young George Clooney, or that you have a striking resemblance to Anna Kendrick, or maybe you look like someone in politics. Maybe you've been told you look like the president. Well, there's one profession where looking like someone else may actually save lives. We're talking about political decoys, also known as body doubles. And today, we're covering what they are, all the different types, who has used one in the past, and does our president have one? Today, you're getting twice the content, Brainiacs, because you're going to see double as we answer the question, does our president have a body double? If you're scratching your head at the term body double, let's break it down for you real quick, because it's not as simple as kinda resembling someone else. This is a risky and dangerous job, and if you were hired, it means you will be standing in for another person with the specific intention of deceiving whoever is threatening that person. This is why you may have heard the term political decoy when referring to a political leader's body double. So yes, having a similar looking face helps, but the similarities must extend to body type, height, and muscle mass too. This means that before you are selected, you have to train, or I guess in some cases not train, to get your physique to match the person you are standing in for. Ah, but this training doesn't stop there. Being a body double for a political leader means acting lessons, and lots of them. Accent coaching, mannerisms, posture, and even the leader's cadence when they speak would all be broken down and analyzed by the coaching staff. As a political decoy, your job is to learn that politician back to front and top to bottom. Know how they dress, how they move their hands when they speak, what they eat, what their pet goldfish's name is, and also when they normally leave the house every day. It's a lot, but it pays off, as this strategy does work. And political decoys can keep leaders who are in particular danger safe. But the goal of a body double is not just safety. If the old switcheroo is effective, anyone trying to gain intel on a political leader will have wasted tons of resources by following someone that isn't who they thought they were. It's a simple yet effective strategy to waste the time and energy of the baddies of the world. But the deception doesn't stop there. There are actually many types of political decoys. Yes, yes, body doubles are one of these types, but there are many more. Voice decoys are essentially the same as body doubles, except it's just someone's voice that is being imitated. Looks like all those years of impersonating Arnold Schwarzenegger will have paid off. Well, if he was in the market for a voice decoy, that is. A voice decoy can be particularly effective over the radio or over the telephone. And similar to a body double, this tactic can make the opposition think that their target is somewhere they aren't. For example, if the impression was good enough, then someone planning to gain intel on that political leader would think that they are in that studio, giving the interview, while the actual political leader is tucked safely away at home. Another type of decoy is known as a ghost army. This is a term used by the military, especially during World War II, by giving the enemy fake information and making them believe that a military base was in one place when it was really in another. This would give our military a huge advantage. The US military was even known to use blow up planes, tanks, jeeps, and even artillery made of rubber so that when the enemy reconnaissance aircraft would spot them, they would think they had found a US base. They would be quite wrong, however. The last kind of decoy out there is a computer decoy, known as honeypots because of the old adage that honey attracts flies only for them to get trapped. That's what happens in computer decoys. Basically, by having some sort of juicy information that the enemy would want to know, as soon as they try and access it, they would have fallen for the trap. And now we would know the who, what, where, and when of whomever was trying to get the information. So as you can see, decoys are a very real thing. In fact, some incredibly famous political leaders and military figures have used them. British World War II General Bernard Montgomery was one such man. He was blown away when he noticed a striking resemblance to an Australian actor named M.E. Clifton James, and he hired the man to travel to cities he knew Nazi spies would be in. James would then loudly proclaim false information, and the spies would hear him and report back to their superiors with this wrong information. Who would have thought that being a good actor could literally save lives? Saddam Hussein was another man who was known to use body doubles. In fact, he was known to use lots of body doubles. 
These doubles were so good, in fact, that many times the only way that citizens could tell if the actual Saddam Hussein was really there was by if the body double was joking around. Later, when the US captured Hussein in 2003, our defense secretary expressed very real concern that they may have captured a decoy, as many of the body doubles had undergone plastic surgery to look as close to Hussein as they possibly could. They would even get the same tattoos. Joseph Stalin also used body doubles. These lookalikes were usually found in the army, and when their superiors realized how closely they resembled Stalin, the army would then fake their deaths. You heard that right. Now, with these men seemingly gone, they would become full-time body doubles for Stalin, and would be seen taking flights or traveling the country. Stalin, however, would be traveling in secret unmarked planes or vehicles. Basically, if anything was to happen, it would happen to his body double. But what about our president? Surely he must be using a body double. I mean, this is one of the most powerful positions in the world. It's pretty dangerous to be the president sometimes. Well, to the best of our knowledge, Donald Trump does not use body doubles. In fact, he has been very outspoken against them, specifically when the internet was sure that he was seen out and about with a body double of his wife. He took to social media to call out anyone who said otherwise, and even went on to say it was the media that was perpetrating these rumors. And of course, he said it was fake news. Ah, but here's the thing. The US has absolutely used deception in the past. Most famously, Bill Clinton would fly in an unmarked plane known as a C-20. These were particularly dangerous times, and so President Clinton did not ride in Air Force One, even though the plane would fly and it would appear that he was on the plane. Instead, he was on the C-20 that followed shortly behind, safe and sound. These C-20 planes are fantastic for these high-risk scenarios, as they are a bit smaller and are the perfect size to land in any airport, in any city, on any runway. If things ever got bad, the C-20 is the go-to decoy plane to keep the president safe. Well, now that we know the history of body doubles, who has used them, and that the US will absolutely use trickery to keep our president safe, now we get to the really crazy stuff. Because there's a new kind of fakery that is out there right now. And it's only going to get better as technology advances. We are talking about deep fakes. These are computer-generated videos or pictures of people that have had their faces perfectly synced so that, well, what you are watching may look and talk like your favorite political leader, but it isn't them. The program essentially takes hundreds or even thousands of pictures and will learn all the possible faces that a person can make. Then it generates a new face on top of someone else usually an actor who looks and talks a lot like whoever is trying to be impersonated. This software is so good that it will continually learn and get better. The program in question is known as Generative Adversarial Network, or a GAN, and it was invented by a graduate student named Ian Goodfellow. This is kind of scary stuff, Brainiacs, because as the technology gets better, it's going to be harder and harder to spot a fake. In fact, Jordan Peele and BuzzFeed released a video of President Obama making fun of President Trump, and he was saying some very unpresidential things. They came clean, though, and said that the reason they made this video was to spread awareness of this technology and how good it is getting. In fact, this digital fakery is exactly what could be happening to the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Recently, many people believe that Kim Jong-un currently has been using body doubles at public appearances. They claim that in recent pictures of the North Korean leader, they've noticed that his teeth and hairline are different. But experts say this isn't a foolproof way to tell if there's a body double at work, as technology has gotten so good that these pictures could have been tampered with. Really crazy to think we can't trust anything we see anymore, huh? So, what can we take away from this? We'd say it's safe to say that there are some forms of decoys used by our president, like when he's in Air Force One or the presidential motor vehicle. But unless the president was in extreme danger, he likely won't use a body double. But that doesn't mean he won't. History has shown politicians do use these lookalikes. And as for the future of technology creating doubles via the deepfake software, we say keep an eye out for any suspicious forgeries by always checking your sources. We'll see you next time, Brainiacs. And hey, if you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps us out a lot. And be sure to subscribe for more fun and insane science videos.